Hey, it's Tuesday, February 13th, 2018. It's What's Up Weekly. I'm Brian. This is Pat. Welcome. And uh, we just want to talk to you about uh, some of the happenings with our children, student, family ministries here at Southgate. Thanks for joining us. Today, actually this week, all week, is the National Day of Secondhand Wardrobe. How about that? National Week. All right. Celebrate it every day. That's right. Give a uh, clothing item to somebody else. Sure. Take one from somebody else. That's right. Secondhand. You'll find your nearest lost and found closet. I, in honor of this day, I actually pulled this shirt out of the lost and found closet here at Southgate. Thank you. Probably for about whoever four donated years ago. That. So hey, thanks. I've got sharing your... is caring. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So, we do want to debut a new segment today. It's always exciting for us. That's right. Hopefully exciting for you. And this one is very important. This is letters from our shepherd in chief. We have some important and urgent information coming to us from the desk of the senior pastor, from the West Wing, Reverend Bobby Heil. That's right. The kids' sermon sheets have returned. They will be available each week at the check-in kiosk in the North Foyer and also at the Welcome Center in the main foyer. Now it's been one. We will also be making a kid's song at the start of the service, a regular feature in our weekly worship service in attempts to better serve our families. We will also be introducing a memory verse component to the start of our morning worship service in the near future to provide another contact point for parents to interact with their kids about the Sunday morning experience. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. I have the tune of Hail to the Chief going on. My Please take note of that important of information yeah. from our Shepherd and Chief. All right. Hey, thanks, Pastor Bobby. Hey, uh, it is time for Ballistic Logistics. Okay, Always a fun one. So we got 30 seconds each uh, to get through our announcements as it relates to children, family, and for students. Yep. And I will go first with my okay please that, do that yep. okay yep. all right so here we go begin okay so hey parents not too late to sign your kids up for junior Revolu revolution uh february 24th 25th it's not a revelation god's already revealed himself to us so anyway Amen. uh you can sign up all the information's on our website uh not too late to sign up for the weekend to remember marriage enrichment retreat and details regarding the family ministry family wilderness trip is online well done brian Yipers. 23 seconds. Hey, Did hey. Did a great job. Man, I got a little nervous there. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I got a itchy trigger finger here. Ready? Ready. Set. Go. All right, parents. This week and next week at Youth Group, we'll be taking a topical vacation from the Gospel Project curriculum. Not a tropical one. What's love got to do with it? So this week, we'll be looking at God's love for us, and next week, we'll be looking at our love to God. Hopefully, this is a good chance for you to talk with your students about the idea of biblical love in contrast with culture's view of love. And then our next event is Laser Tag on Wednesday, March 14th. Registration opens later this week. Well done, man. All right, you had like six and a half seconds left. Excellent, how All about right. that? Good, good. Yeah, I think our viewers appreciate our promptness. I hope so. so this good. does take us into another segment. This is one of my personal favorites. Yes. For here or to go. Mm -hmm. So we know that many families are on the go each week between school, extracurricular activities, soccer right. practice, ballet practice, all that yep. jazz. Hopefully you get a chance to spend some time as a family around the dinner table. Hopefully. Whether it's at your own home or whether you're maybe down at Telemetry Coffee Roasters enjoying a Southwest Panini. Nice. Take a meal this week to do two things. The first one is that whoever's giving thanks before your meal, um, pray and ask God to give your family courage to do the right thing even when it's risky. Yeah. On the heels of what Pastor Bobby shared with us on Sunday from the story in Jeremiah. Um, and then second, I want to highlight a question that came up in our community group discussion on Sunday night. So Micah 6, 8, many of, us are, many of us are familiar with, excuse me, says, He has told you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. So as a family, how would you describe a good action plan to put Micah 5, or excuse me, Micah 6, 8 into practice in your home, in your neighborhood, in your relationships with both your kids, but then yeah. also their relationships with their friends, yeah. their teachers, things like that. Cool. Um, our discussion went anywhere from coworkers to friends mm -hmm. to spouse to children, how to kind of craft mm -hmm. that environment of love, kindness, yeah. and justice. We'd love to hear how it works for your family. Hopefully yeah. you just get some action point that'll stick yeah. this week. Yeah, give us some feedback. Let us know how that conversation goes in your house. All right, our final segment of the day is our game segment, and we're going to be playing a rousing game of Mystery Room. So our that producer, we are. Jordan Helwig, has uh, come up with, uh, I think, three pictures of places in our church where 
One might celebrate the National Week of Secondhand Wardrobe. One might find a new item to add to their wardrobe. Who knows? Even. That's okay. right. Good. The first image is as follows. The dog, dog house. house. All right. Man, there's some good stuff in the dog house. So some of you are saying, the dog house? What? That church? I have no idea what that's about. No, what? there is not a animal living yeah. in the recesses of our building. Evidently, you've never played underground church with the youth group. Okay, question number two. Right. Lost and found closet Lost in the found. north stairwell. Yes. All right, two for two. Cool. All right, and finally, number three. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not confident. I'm not confident either. The CE closet office. near the baptistry upstairs. Yeah! Oh. Just enough. Man. And the hole continues to get deeper for me. It does, but thanks for playing. Thanks for playing along at home. We'll see you next week. See you next week.